This class you work out on problem on symmetrical fault calculation. This is the given radial power system network. This network consists of two generators, two transformers and two transmission lines. Generator 1 rate is 10 MeA 11 kV. Subtraction reactance is J.15 per unit. Generator 2 rating is 10 MeA 11 kV. Subtraction reactance is J.2 per unit. Transformer 1 rating is 10 MeA 11 kV bar 33 kV. Reactance is J.1 per unit. Transmission line 1 length is 50 km. Impedance is 0.28 plus J.35 ohm per km. Transformer 2 A rating is 5, 5 MeA, 33 kV bar 6.6 .6 kV, reactance is J.08 per unit. The length of the transmission line 2 is 5 km, impedance is 0.14 plus J.08 ohms per km. The question is, fault occurs at this point, calculate the fault current and also calculate the 11 kV bus voltage during the fault. That is the question. First step we choose base MBA and base KV. Base MBA is equal to 10, base KV is equal to 11. Now I can calculate per unit reactance of the generator 1. Given reactance value J.15 into V1 by V2 the whole square. V1 is a given value. Given value is 11. V2 is a chosen value 11 square into SB2. SB2 is a chosen value 10. SB1 is a given value 10. 10 by 10. That is equal to J.15. Similarly, XG2 is equal to given value J.2 into 11 by 11 the whole square into 10 by 10. That is equal to J.2. Next, I have to calculate the high voltage KV base. High voltage KV base is equal to Low voltage KV base, this voltage is 11 KV into HT by LT. HT is 33 by 11, that is equal to 33 KV. This is 33 KV. Up to this point is 33 KV. I can calculate the per unit reactance of the transformer 1. XT1 is equal to given reactance value J.1 into 33 by 33 square. So this is 33. This value is 33. 33 by 33 square into 10 by 10. That is equal to J.1 per unit. Next, I have to calculate the low voltage KV base. Low voltage KV base is equal to high voltage KV base. 33 into LT by HT. LT is 6.6. .6, HT is 33. Therefore, low voltage KV base is equal to 6.6 .6 KV. This is 6.6 .6 KV. This is 33 KV. This is 11 KV. Next, I have to calculate the per unit reactance of the transformer 2. Given reactance value is J.08 into 6.6 .6 divided by 6.6 .6 the whole square into SB2 is 10, this value 10, given value is 5, 10 by 5, that is equal to J.16 per unit. Next, I have to calculate actual impedance value of the transmission line 1. The length of the line is given 50 into Ohms per kilometer is given 0.28 plus J.35. 0.28 plus J.35. That is equal to actual value, actual impedance value of the transmission line 1 is 14 plus J17.5 ohms. Now I can easily calculate the per unit impedance of the transmission line 1. Actual impedance value that is 14 plus J17.5 into MEA base that is 10 into divided, divided by KV base square, this is 33 square, 33 square, therefore 14 plus J 17.5 divided by 33 square into 10. Per unit impedance of the transmission line 1 is 0.13 plus J 0.16 per unit. Similarly, per unit impedance of the transmission line 2 is actual value, actual is the length is given 5 kilometers. Uh, impedance value is given 0.14 plus J.08. Therefore, actual transmission line impedance value is 0.7 plus J.4. The per unit value is, per unit impedance of the transmission line 2 is, this value 0.7 plus J.4 into MVA base that is equal to 10 divided by 
6.6 square that is equal to 0.16 plus j.092 per unit. The second step I have to draw the Tevlin sequence circuit. This is a generator reactance j.15 which generates two reactants j.2. This is a transformer one reactant j.1. The transmission line impedance resistance is 0.13. Reactance is j.16. Transformer 2 reactance is J.16. Transmission line 1 resistance is 0.16. Reactance is J.092. Third step, I have to simplify this network. The preferred voltage of the generator 1 is 190. Preferred voltage of generator 2 is 190. Therefore, E tolerance is equal to 190. Now, I have to calculate the total reactance between the fault point and the neutral point here this value is 0.29 this is j.512 these two are connected in parallel j.15 into j.2 divided by j.15 plus j.2 that is equal to j.086 step 4 again I simplify this network the resistance value is 0.29 Reactance value is J.598. Turbulence voltage is 190. Now I can easily calculate the fault current IF. E turbulence by X turbulence. E turbulence is 190. X turbulence is 0.29 plus J.598. Fault current IF is equal to 0.657 minus J. 1.354 per unit. In rectangular form, in polar form, IF is equal to 1.5 angle minus 64.12 degrees per unit. The next step, I have to calculate the base current. The fault occur at this point. Here the voltage is 6.6 .6 kV. The base MBA is equal to 10. 10 into 10 power 6 divided by root 3 into 6.6 .6 into 10 power 3. That is equal to 874.77 amps. Once I know the base current, I can easily calculate the actual fault current because I know the per unit fault current. So per unit fault current into base current will be the actual fault current. 1.5 angle minus 64.12 degrees into 874.77 that is equal to 1312.16 amps. That is the actual fault current. The second question we have to calculate the 11 kV bus voltage during the fault. So we have to calculate the impedance between A and F. Here A is the 11 kV bus, F is the fault point. So between these two points, what is the resistance value and reactance value? The resistance value is 0.29, reactance is J.512. Therefore impedance is 0.29 plus J.512. So voltage at 11 kV bus is equal to ZAF per unit into fault current per unit. So ZAF that is a impedance between point A and F is equal to 0.29 plus J.512 into fault current 0.657 minus J 1.354. Therefore voltage at 11 kV bus in per unit is 0.88 minus J.056 in rectangular form, in polar form 0.88 and 3.64 degrees. Now I can calculate actual voltage at 11 kV bus. Actual voltage at 11 kV bus is per unit voltage at 11 kV bus that is 0.88 into base voltage. Base voltage is 11. 0.88 into 11 that is equal to 9.68 kV. Actual fault current is 1312.16 amps. Actual voltage at 11 kV bus during the fault is 9.68 kV. This way we have to overcome this problem. Thanks for listening.